Good morning everyone, this is Rob with Next Truck Sales and I want to take this opportunity and introduce you to our 2014 Peterbilt 389 Long Hood. It features a Packard 510 horsepower with an 18 speed Eaton automatic transmission. It's got 13 2 and 40 axles. It's a nice looking truck. I'll take you through the truck, show you some of the things, features about it, show you some of the good things and the not so bad, not so good things. Um, let's have a look here and see what we've got. Nice big 18 inch square Texas bumper. If you have a look at the aluminum here, uh, we had our polisher out. He was gonna try and polish it to a spit shine. Came to the conclusion that'd be very difficult. So we've wire brushed it and it looks nice. It's never going to be shiny. So if you're buying this, hoping that you're gonna polish the aluminum, look elsewhere. This is as good as the aluminum is gonna look. It's just got too many miles on it or too much wear and tear for it to be brought back up to a spit shine but it does look pretty cool if you look at it I'll see if I can try and get it in the light you can see we've got like a brush sort of finish uh, overall the trucks decent it's not new anymore it's got 800 miles on it it runs great um, I've got some of the maintenance records for this fleet maintained not a single owner operator uh, well looked after well cared for truck this truck has just hit the mileage where they're cycling it out and getting a new truck I'm going to take you through show you some of the things on the truck that are not perfect because obviously we've got um, uh, this kind of mileage on it so let's have a look here you can see that we've got a wrap on the front fender we've got some touch up here uh, on this section of the fender it looks like it's been previously repaired we have a little bit of paint peeling uh, it doesn't jump out at you but it is definitely not in perfect condition uh, let me pop up the hood I'll give you a look underneath here one of the features I do really like about the Peterbilt's aluminum hood way easier to lift than the Kenworth that will actually like put your back out okay so if you have a look here you can maybe see that a little bit easier I'm not sure if the camera picks it up Michelin X-Line steering tires with halo balancers and drum brakes. Uh, we've sandblasted and painted the chassis, so you can see it looks it looks great. Uh, and they've done a little bit of detail, gone up here, painted the rad support, and painted the air to air. Okay, a little bit of corrosion going on in behind there. Just so you can see. I do like the set forward axle from a working on the truck perspective. If you have a look here, you can see this engine. It's right out in front. You can access pretty much everything. Uh, have a look here. You can see we do have some stone chips and corrosion going on on the windshield. Okay, the firewall's in perfect condition. Almost perfect condition. A little bit of corrosion going there where the, uh, where the hood mounts. Let's go on the other side and have a look. We are selling the truck with cold air, a fresh service, no check engine lights, connected emission system fully functioning BPF system no leakage ready to go to work and this might be a 500 um, can't see it there yeah 500 I think I said 510 510 is the 2018 version which would be the next generation so that's a Packard 500 1850 torque okay we've got a uh, uh, fuel water separator there which is a nice location uh, have a look here. You'll see so we've got the side step with a uh, stainless steel plate, but then on the sides We've uh, brushed all that aluminum same deal over here. We've got a Stainless steel def cover tank, but then we've brushed the aluminum on the tanks. This is a 90 gallon fuel tank here Okay, if you have a look here, this is your 63 inch unibuilt Okay, and have a look in here. So we've got a brand new mattress I'll go on the inside in a minute. Okay, you've got a stereo subwoofer, a full pass-through. Looks like we've got remnants of the original lamp. I saw that missing when I was taking the pictures. I'll come back to that in a minute. Parts of the lamp are missing. We'll get that installed now that I've found it. Okay, we've got new dual hoop fenders with brand new top hat kits. Okay, we've polished those wheels on our robotic wheel polisher. They look great. Packard Peterbilt low leaf air suspension. Okay, drum brakes at the back. Standard 40,000 pound axles with a locker. That's the locking solenoid. We'll take a quick peek up front here and see what we've got for lockers. We've got at least one locker. I just can't see what we've got here. 
it looks like three-way lockers I'll confirm when we get inside we've got a storage box there Holland 3500 sliding fifth wheel okay it looks like it's been recently rebuilt we've got a lot of adjustment remaining on that nut and we've got about three inches of movement three feet of movement rather uh, this looks like a high mount okay so if you look at the height of that compared to your standard one say for example on that freight liner so this is going to sit about two inches higher than your standard fifth wheel uh, looks like we've got a little bit of vibration cracks here on these fenders have a look i guess they're not new Let's see if they're secure if they're secure you might want to put a bolt or a bracket through it we're going to leave that on both sides okay we've got a fixed mount for both of them it's probably part of the reason this truck shake and vibrate so much sharp looking truck have a look here you can see we've got full stainless closing cross member cover okay we've sandblasted and painted this chassis if you look here we got a little bit of leftover dust from when we polished all of the aluminum a little bit of corrosion going on looks like a cb antenna mount okay let's go on the inside i'll show you the inside then we'll get the truck running and let you have a listen to it this truck has been um, customized somewhat we got some chrome door handles we've got i'm guessing this is a train horn of some sort i'm not sure where the switch is to turn it on we've got air pressure uh this is a smoker truck i see a cigarette burn there it doesn't smell terrible it does smell a little bit like smoke you got a cigarette burn there 18 speed manual dual peterbilt air ride seats I've got some custom switches on the ceiling, some custom chrome on the turn signal, steering column and the trailer brake, custom buttons. Let's get this fired up and have a listen to it. Okay, so here we've got a custom ignition switch. 890,000 miles, 21,863 hours. Have a look here, yeah, so we've got axle, so we get two diff locks, I believe it's a three-way cruise. Uh, we've sold trucks from this fleet for some time now. All of their trucks are mint. Everybody's delighted. Okay, so we get some cold air going here. It's a warm day. We'll get you to have a look on the interior. So that, if you remember that piece that was down inside underneath the sleeper, I believe it belongs there get that installed for now we're not going to worry about it for the purpose of this video it's more chrome um unibelt sleeper obviously with the low pass through and some speakers you've got the platinum interior so this is your top wood grain chrome interior so let's go in the back here and see what we've got we've got full carpet throughout we've got secure storage up there we've got a clothes hanger in here okay we've got a bunk heater some lights uh, we've got an HVAC fan we've got obviously the door here I'm gonna open this up just to give a little bit better light inside over on this side it looks like we had something melted through there that's been cut out we've got more storage here and that has been screwed shut not sure why but we're not gonna we're not gonna touch that we've got a refrigerator so that's been screwed shut not exactly sure what the deal is but the cupboard is not working underneath here okay so we've got a back window glass which is always nice for visibility okay we got heating and air conditioning factory this is that little bracket even sure that might be you know what that looks like a spare uh -huh. this goes over here and that's been taken out because we got a flat screen tv mount right back there so your flat screen tv mount has been added and they've taken that bracket out to have the space to put it there so there you have it on the inside air is blowing nice and cold which is good have a look at the seat you'll see a couple of cigarette burns Again, it doesn't smell horrible, but it, I don't smoke and I, I notice it. So let's 
go through here. Let's have a look at what we got for fuel economy. Let's see if we can even pull it up. Not sure how we pull that out. was in here. Apparently not. Nope. There we go, maybe. It's not really helpful. Trip, so this is uh, not even sure what trip that was. Idling, 25% idle. That certainly doesn't help your uh, certainly doesn't help your fuel economy. Okay, I don't have lifetime fuel. We'll see if we can pull it off of an ECM download. Let's go have a listen to this running. I'm going to get it up on fast idle. Uh, we've got the engine warmed up to 125. We'll see what kind of blow by is coming out of this thing. Turn off the air so we can, don't have the fan running. Uh, I'm going to simply let it run. I'm not going to do a lot of talking. It'll be hard to hear me anyway. I'll just get a video of the engine running, let you listen to it, and we will uh, get the oil filler cap off and let you see the blow by. So let's give that a go. Okay, so there you have it. 2014 Pete 389 Long Hood Packar, 500 horse, 18 speed, 800 miles. Gorgeous truck, coming with excellent tires all the way around. Virgin rubber, no leaks, no lights, cold air, fresh service, fresh DOT inspection certificate, ready to go to work. Pick up in. Breslau, Ontario, or if you happen to be watching this video and you're in the U.S., pick it up in our yard in Buffalo. Give me a call, 844-489-8789. It's Rob at Next Truck Sales. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye for now.